Sensei is a kick-ass motherfucker. Dad ass, though. What's going on, all you beautiful people? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of the best Besiege Creations. As always, we've got a jam-packed week filled with a bunch of unique designs, this first one being a very big hovercraft, and an actual real hovercraft. Uh, a lot of creations in this claim to be an hovercraft, but they're basically a frictionless vehicle that utilizes things on the ground that don't have much friction. This one actually has fans on it pushing it upwards and uh, making it react like a realistic hovercraft. Now, this top fan, I don't know if it's supposed to be like this, kind of broken and whatnot, uh, but the bottom fan is actually spinning, as you can see, and making it obviously go upwards. So yeah, I was really happy when I seen this because I don't think I've actually used a real hovercraft in Besiege yet, so it's nice to see one that's actually utilizing fans and upward lift to keep this thing kind of floating and pretty much weightless. Now obviously what's so cool about this one too is we got a very powerful cannon on the back here. You can control it up, down, left, right, you get the idea. And it's also got an aimer on here. I don't know how accurate this thing is, but I do want to try and take down these things, so let's put this up. Again, I don't really know where you're supposed to aim on this iron sight. I'm assuming the top, kind of like an AK-47. Uh, we are going to get out of that camera, though, and get a nice view and see if we can hit this thing. Ooh, just missed it. That was actually really close. Let's try again here. And that recoil is actually pushing us back because we obviously... So, oh, it's like, it, maybe it's just off a bit to the right? Okay, that tower was bad luck. We're gonna go try this one over here. Alright, this one is going to be it. You watch. There we go, right exactly where I aimed it. Okay, so actually a very impressive iron sight. Usually the iron sights in this game are a bit wonky. Uh, this one, I mean, it's a bit blocky and hard to use, but when you do aim it up, it does work quite well. Okay, I keep making my cannonball go a bit to the right, so I'm going to aim this a bit to the left. I don't know if this is going to help, but that's looking a little bit to the left now. Let's try this out. Oh, it was a bit low this time! You can see it always is wobbling, though, and that's the biggest issue. This thing is basically a moving fan, so it's going to get a little bit of wobble. And trying to aim up an iron sight with a wobble is uh, very difficult. Okay, come on. There we go. We just hit his foot, but knock that motherfucker down. Now, there's one more thing we can kill. It should be easy. It's right over here. Actually, it's going to be really easy to kill. We are right beside it, but let's just do it for fun. Oh my god, I totally accidentally hit the button before I could turn, but you guys saw it. Now that we played a bit with the uh, actual weapon, we're going to actually have fun with some of the hover abilities of this thing now. Uh, very hard to drive. You're basically drifting all the time, but I do want to try and take it off one of the jumps or, or rather the hills over here and see if it can, in fact, do it without, you know, basically totaling itself. Okay, the hardest part is going to be lining this thing up because you're basically sideways the whole freaking time, but I'm seeing that hill right in front of us if I can... Oh god, if I can kind of keep this straight, we might be able to go off it. We're going off sideways, but there we go. It is so weightless, and it's just so fun to play around with. Oh, what the hell did I just do? I think I just killed someone with it. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Okay, I can't go forward. I'm actually going upwards. All right, it's back on the ground. I should be able to drive again. I want to get a little bit ahead. I'm going to try and shoot these guys if I can. Okay, I'm probably far enough away now. I'm going to have to aim this pretty damn quickly. So there we go. First guy down. Definitely not going to be able to kill all of them. This recoil is way too difficult. Okay, there's a guy in the distance though. He, I think he basically has given up. So you know what? Let's just put him out of his misery. There. Did I kill him? No. Oh my god. To be fair, aiming for human-sized things with this crosshair fucking hard to do. There we go. We did in fact kill them though, so it's actually a very decent little weapon on the thing, and obviously a fun little vehicle to fly around as well. There's nothing like it that I've seen in Besiege. And next up, I present to you the Void, ladies and gentlemen. This one is a pretty interesting design. Now, it doesn't look too crazy on the outside. A futuristic plane, and we've seen that many times before. But what makes this thing so special is what's on the inside. And that's what's the most important about everything in life. What's on the inside? This one has the coolest cockpit I've seen in Besiege. Look at this fucking thing. 
Not only that, it is a great flyer. You can see there's crosshairs on this thing. Uh, you got a bunch of different instruments on your front panel here. Uh, some of the most unique things I've ever seen. These new skin packs are truly changing Besiege for the better, in my opinion. A lot of people say they hate, you know, modding in Besiege, but honestly, you would not get as much out of Besiege if we didn't have modding. Oh, shit! Okay, but let's try this thing out. We do have a firing cannon here, and obviously we got some crosshairs as well. I'm gonna do my- Okay, well, we didn't- <laughs> we, we, we didn't fire the airplane, we just crash-landed it into where I wanted to shoot. To be fair, I already had a broken wing before that. Let's try this again. I'm gonna try and take off with the V2L. There's an automated takeoff, which is what we did first. Now I'm gonna try the V2L takeoff. So there we go, V2L is on. Oh, it actually doesn't show it. Oh, okay, so that makes more sense. Uh, let me go back to the uh, cockpit here. So the on button up here is for the VTOL. I thought the VTOL would just turn green there, but nope. That is in fact the VTOL on, so we'll turn that off now and turn my engine on and... Oh god, I think, I guess we were supposed to go a bit higher. <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. Maybe I should turn my engines on now, and that should make this a lot easier, and then we can turn V2L off. Okay, I figured it out. It's all about the fine-tuning, but we just took off with the V2L as well, and it works absolutely fantastic. So I didn't know, but I was flying with V2L on all the time with the automated takeoff, and it actually flies. I, I want to say this, it flies easier with the V2L on. Let's actually get out of the cockpit for a little bit here. Oop, I doubt that's turning off the engine. You don't want to do that. I just wanted to get out of the cockpit. There we go. We got a nice backwards camera as well. And when it comes to shooting, for whatever reason, I just prefer to be outside of the vehicle. Okay, we're coming in with my guns. I have no idea if I'll be able to hit this. Okay, well, we... <laughs> I'm better at hitting things with my actual creations than I am shooting at them. Okay, I slowed this down quite a bit. Let's turn V2L off. Uh, just because I want to actually try and shoot this thing. So we're going to swoop through here. And now this is way more easy. You can see, ooh, I actually... I think I just hit my own friggin' vehicle, but there we go! I was able to hit the top tower, and something has definitely happened to my vehicle! Okay, we definitely crash-landed. What the fuck is going on with it? It has a mind of its own right now! Okay, well that was the Void, ladies and gentlemen. Easily the coolest cockpit in the game, and I just love how automated it feels. Like, this game doesn't even look like Besiege anymore, and... I don't know, I think I like that. You know, a lot of people want the vanilla back. I'm happy that modders are this fucking unique in this game. Alright, let me see if I can hit this statue, and then we'll end this one off. Come on, baby, come on. Oh, I don't, I don't think I can hit the bottom, so if we can hit him, though... There we go! We took him out! Finally, I was able to hit something with a plane! Okay, and a final crash land for shits and giggles right into the rock! There we go, destruction is fun. Some say he lives on a diet of raisins and peanut butter, and that he once gave Britney Spears a sponge bath. All that we know is he's called the Stig. Yes, welcome to my cringe-worthy introduction to the Stig go-karting. Yes, we got a go-kart track here. As you can see, a very impressive one, too. I like the tight turns. And, of course, we got the Stig over here on his little go-kart. Now, I mean, I'm really impressed with the look of this thing. It does look like a go-kart. It steers like a go-kart. And it's also got some really good cameras. We got first person here with my little wheel. And then, of course, the back camera as well. We're going to try the back camera out first. Unfortunately, we cannot race anyone. Actually, we're going in slow motion, too. Let's go for real speed here because we are in a go-kart. And it's all about speed with these things. So yeah, let's just take a minute to appreciate how awesome Besiege is. This game was made with medieval building in mind. Now we are driving the Stig around a go-kart track thanks to the creative community that has really made this game blossom into what it truly is, and that is a creative sandbox where you can create anything you want. But yes, this is an awesome design, a great little track. It feels very much like a go-kart track. I have raced go-karts in the past, and uh, this feels absolutely great. I love the little bridge here, uh, but what's really impressive is the attention to detail, especially in this go-kart. Let's take a minute to appreciate how good this thing looks. I mean, we got the front here, we got suspension arms in the middle, I don't know if you can see that. The engine in the back is what truly I appreciate. We also got a little spool here, uh, we got the pull start right over here, and of course the gas tank on the top with the gas lid as well. Seriously impressive. Can't forget the Stig as well. Okay, let's try some first person here and see how this thing truly shines. Oh, I am just drifting around the corners with this thing. This is so fun. I love it. Okay, but we do need to do a crash test. See how the Stig pits up against a wall. There we 
<laughs> okay, I don't think it went too well. Let me get out of this camera and see. Actually, Stig, you're doing fine. I mean, you did lose a leg. Let's be fair, that's pretty fucking bad, to be honest. But he's still, most importantly, the Stig. And I just did a crotch shot of him. My bad, did not mean to do that. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. <laughs> the steering column is totally broken off the machine. Look at that. But yes, once again, that was the Stig Go-Karting. An awesome little mod, and I do absolutely love this thing. Everyone, meet Grandmaster Sensei. He is a Katina welding badass. Speak of the devil. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, get the fuck out of my way. Okay, this thing is awesome. Uh, yes, you can move around with it, and you obviously just fight other units. So let's see how we pit off against these stupid guys. Gonna say, Sensei is definitely gonna win. Okay, I think he killed everyone already. Well, that's no fun. I expected to have a little bit of a war. Maybe we need to go to a different map. You know what? I see sheep. We can go kill sheep. Okay, little sheep, come over here, because we got something called the Blast Wave that I want to try, and you are going to be our test subject. So here we go. You survived it! Can he... can I... Okay, I found a flaw with Sensei's uh, moves. He cannot kill sheep. He has no low blow attacks. Come here, you fucking bastard. There we go! <laughs> Finally, I was able to kill the sheep. Now, can bombs destroy Sensei? We're going to find out right now, or maybe not. Oh, okay, we are gonna find out. Okay, Sensei is definitely dead. No one can survive the bombs. Okay, I think this is more up Sensei's alley. I mean, it's one man versus an army. Now, we do got a first-person camera here, so... Oh, shit, they're getting close! Start fighting them! <laughs> All I see is blood. I have no idea what's happening. Okay, let me actually get out of this camera, and let's pull, let's pull back. Okay, I think we killed... Actually, we killed most of them. We still have so many weapons we can use! Oh, Mr. Sensei, you are too good for your own skill. Get over here, you bastard! There we go, and you as well. And you are the final contender. Are you gonna beat me or you're not even gonna swing at me? So you know what? Fuck off! Sensei is a kick-ass motherfucker. That ass, though. Now, because we kicked ass so quickly, I wasn't able to show Sensei's secret move. When he is in a pickle, he has Flight of the Dragon. Yes, he can seriously fly away. And there, he's good. Actually, there's people over here. Oh, we still got one guy left. See? Flight of the Dragon wasn't a total waste. Get the fuck out of my way. And the final motherfucker. We are going to use my Force Wave to... Oh, okay, I reset the game. Fuck! He survived! So yeah, Sensei, the baddest motherfucker in town. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so fun to play with. I mean, one swipe just takes out like 16 of these motherfuckers. Okay, guys, I hate to say it, but that wraps it up for another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. I hope you enjoyed this week of uh, some very unique designs. I had a great time checking them out with you guys, and I hope you did as well. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.